Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday morning, it's the 7th day of December, Pearl Harbor Day, and the front that brought the drenching rains to the state today has also ushered in some much cooler air. Today's high temperature will be about 23 degrees cooler than yesterday. Boy, what a change of reality that is. And with waves of low pressure moving along that front, which is now stalled near the coast, look for up and down rain chances every day right on through the end of the week. Warmer late week and then another important storm system with a front that comes through on Saturday, one that could bring a low-end severe weather threat much like yesterday. The front that brought the drenching rains yesterday has ushered in much cooler air, and now waves of low pressure is moving along that front like a roller coaster. That's going to keep the threat of showers in our forecast for the next few days, at least small chances each day. Uh, you can see here's the Wednesday map. Low pressures uh, strung out from Texas all the way to uh, the Carolinas along that frontal system. And this is future radar showing a few spotty showers popping up here today on a much cooler Tuesday, kind of a breezy day as well. And uh, you can see a snapshot at 6 o'clock tonight. Nothing heavy, nothing um, as um, drenching as what we had yesterday across the area. So the risk of showers will be around. A little breezy with a north wind at 6 to 12 miles per hour. Today's high temperature only in the middle 50s. What a change from the upper 70s, right? Tonight's low, chilly, down to 48. And then for tomorrow, more scattered showers around from time to time. I think temperatures will probably make the low 60s tomorrow. And then we'll be closer to 70 on Thursday with a few, a few more scattered showers. And then a nice warm-up, I think, at the end of the week. We may tease 80 degrees perhaps on Friday with the risk of showers and maybe a few thunderstorms. Then a frontal system will approach. It's an important front, much like the one yesterday. Uh, it will have showers and thunderstorms, maybe a low-end severe weather threat, and some good rainfall with it as well, much like Monday. So that's going to be the situation we'll deal with Saturday. That will affect a lot of outdoor plans. There's Saturday, 9 p.m. The front has made it into southeast Alabama by then. And on Sunday, back behind it, breezy, much cooler air. And that's going to be the start of a string of several uh, storm-free days starting uh, next Sunday. Rainfall over the next six days. Again, some places could easily see more than two inches of rain. Uh, and when you add it all up, especially with the Saturday rain, that's going to be the most drenching of the rainfall. So I've got the rain chances uh, of chance of showers at 50% on Wednesday with a high in the lower 60s, perhaps around 70 on Thursday with a risk of more scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm and some scattered thunderstorms Friday as we tease 80 degrees, upper 70s Saturday as the major front moves through again. Um, and uh, then back to drier air and much cooler on Sunday. Here's the ups and downs over the next 10 days on the model blends. We've got a very cool day today. The warmest day of the week will be, uh, well, both, uh, both Friday and Saturday. Then much cooler again behind that next front. And then this uh, takes us all the way out through the 17th. Uh, that would be a week, from, um, a week from Christmas Eve, Friday the 17th with a high temperature near 70 by then. So uh, how much rain did you get at your house yesterday? It was uh, quite a, a lot right here. I had uh, nearly one and a half inches of rain, 1.45, and uh, same total up uh, near Prattville, I, I should say up near Wetumpka, and the airport had about half of what I had here at 0.77. You could have had a lot more perhaps at your house. This morning, everything is normal. So here's my speech that you hear every morning, live on the radio, 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. You'll find us on TV, watch us on Channel 8 and Channel 32. And there'll be another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. Your forecast, whenever you want it, across the dial on eight radio stations. That would be the Blue Water family of stations. All right, unlike the last few days, we've been spoiled with uh, warm weather. Uh, jackets are required today, and uh, I'll have another update for you in the morning. See you later.